Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Say, do you like depression? Do you also like being in enormous amounts of debt? Well, I got a hobby for you. Video game collecting. This is a thing. Video game collecting is a hobby I've just recently gotten into, and so far I've been enjoying. Now I just have to get used to being broke all the time. So, this is my current collection of games. And it's not bad considering I don't make money. Because I'm unemployed. Yeah, I've built up my small collection through holidays. Whether that be directly as gifts, or going to the store the next day and getting two crappy games and negative $60. As you can see, we've got a lot of variety here. We've got some Switch games, Wii U games, and three whole PS4 games. But I do have some more digitally. Digital games? <laughs> so, as you can tell, I'm quite the collector. But I want more. I want games that I don't care about. Games that I only play once. And games that'll just be totally useless. I want to get into video game collecting because video games have been in my life since I was a wee lad. If I want to get more into video game collecting, I have to take in all the factors like price, availability, or whether I want it or not. So let's start with price. So as most people know, video games can be expensive, and you gotta decide whether the high price tag is worth it or not for the experience. Honestly though, I'm kind of a sucker, I'm the type of idiot who wastes $60 on a crappy game, but hey. That's just me. You know, a good idea would be to look at different prices for the game you're looking at on different websites and stores, and also considering if you have to buy new, or if you're willing to buy used. <laughs> you see, if you buy used, you can get big discounts depending on what game you're looking at, and if you do decide to buy used, you can easily find the game you're looking for at a reasonable price. Except for more old and limited games. Those things just have to be priced at like a hundred dollars. But then comes availability. Some games might just be very limited. And evidently that's probably why you'll see a huge price tag on them. This can be really common with video games. These things just happen. Although availability isn't usually a problem, some retro stuff can see these issues. So just don't buy games from like a Sega Saturn. There also might be issues of whether or not you want it. What if the game's bad? What if the game's just too expensive? What if you don't think you'll ever play it or enjoy it enough? But that's something you kind of have to figure out on your own. I mean, it is your decision. Now that's all the basics of what you need to know to get into video game collecting. Now with this newfound knowledge of how to waste money, you truly can not become a hoarder. Now, it's time. It's time for me to go all in and waste all my money on Ridge Racer 7 for the PS3. But before I go on this quest of video game collecting, why don't I look at my current collection of consoles? Like they say, there's no time like the present. So let's start with my favorite piece of my collection, the GameCube. Fun fact, this wasn't working when I got it, so I had to fix it myself with zero technical knowledge. I have no idea how this thing is still alive. Then we have the Wii, which is definitely the best time waster, and really cool with the full-on motion controls. There's also the PS2. I've had this thing ever since I could remember. Don't forget about the PS3 which is actually the only one of these consoles that I fully paid for. PS4, it's the PS4, it's great, it's the PS4. Wii U, this was a birthday present, and I'm proud to say I actually like this thing. Here's the Switch, which is a Christmas present, and is probably one of my favorite consoles. Xbox One, another Christmas present. That's all I can really say about it though. Yeah, so that's pretty much my current collection of consoles. Now it is time for me to use my knowledge of video game collecting to keep growing my collection for a hobby that I like, while also getting annoyed about how much money I lose. 